acquisition video for July. What the hell it is? It's funny something. Anyway, some of this I had uh, coming from one of my friends picks for me, and some of it uh, I got today. Um, this little um, it's a uh, Grundig. I got these for sale. If anybody wants them, ten bucks plus shipping. Brand new in the package with all the accoutrement, and uh, they're pretty cool, but. My buddy's got like six of them, I think, five or six of them, but only sell for about 15, 20, but 10 bucks if anybody wants one. And uh, I got uh, today, uh, I got this in the mail Tuesday, and uh, this is from my buddy Ernie, and uh, uh, turned out real nice, he had heard that I had uh, missed out on what the flea and the guy was fucking with me, and so he sent this as a gift, pay me back later, and I was lucky I was able to set up a deal where he's getting a door for his 5350 for a couple of reel-to-reels that I'm sending in Brazil for my buddy so that kind of pays for this so nice uh, send a nice Tiac yellow reel-to-reel so the guy's gonna be very happy so that's a 5005 that was nice so and then I'm um, a buddy who picks for me he got this uh, Panasonic half box which is pretty clean I can't remember what I, I think I paid 10 or 15 from him and he was messing with me, showed me a photo of this, and I was so upset. He's like, oh, I missed out. I said, should I have bought this? It is so cool. It's a slicker GPX. I really like that. And then uh, he also got another four-pack of uh, cassettes. And I got two of these uh, oh, with the uh, Japanese text four-pack of Sony. Uh, open, very nice. And he got this great Panasonic Dicta memory function voice activated recorder but uh, I don't think it's got a radio in it but it's pretty nice and I'm sure it's kind of fairly rare so that was nice he picked that up and um, today and then he got this which he didn't tell me about this is so cool I've seen these once before and could never really been on them Panasonic little I think it's a clock radio oh, if it's a clock radio it's definitely a portable radio it looks like it had a strap but got to put a little new antenna fix the antenna but uh, that was great too and, uh, and then as far as picking today, I got other stuff, non-electronic related, but I uh, got this nice orange uh, touch tone 70s clock for five bucks, very mod 70s. And, uh, and this, this is what I, I didn't have a ton of money, this uh, pay, you know, paycheck a little tight, but 30 bucks on this, American DJ. And it's got to have some nuts tightened and fixed in case they're stripped, but it all works. So immediately when I bought that, this young DJ is like, I'm a DJ, I could use that. So kind of cool. My buddy Ed Allard, uh, he has a Halloween party, so I'm going to let him borrow this. And I got some other prism lights. He likes to have the disco kind of thing going in the basement. But hopefully he'll he'll need to borrow that. It would be nice to get to use it because it's uh, pretty funny. And then the last thing on the way out, and the guy wanted 28 bucks, And I was, I think I had 5 or 6 bucks on me, so my buddy lent me 20 and I uh, got this for twenty four dollars. It was like twenty three dollars and four quarters, so twenty four bucks. But he was determined, and, it, and he cranks it up, and it sounded like shit. So, anyways, but it's a nice Sears, and it's a uh, short wave, so fairly rare, a little dinked up, but I like it. It's got the the orange in the handle. So that's my acquisitions. Getting a little long in the tooth, blah blah blah. And I got these other four radios that I'm figuring out whether my buddy Ernie wants or gonna have them lit up but uh, might be available in case nobody else wants them and you already saw my hundred boombox video so there's a few in there that people might want and anyways enjoy it was a great week or two <laughs>